we've just got back from the shopping centre and the supermarket. Supermarket. Um, I thought I'd do and I probably want to show you guys what we got from the supermarket as well. So when you walk in, this is the door and like it is so long and like tall. The first room is a bedroom. Excuse the mess, it's just a double bed with some wardrobe. It's kind of annoying there's no drawers, but oh wow. Um, then out here, well in here is the bedroom, I mean the bathroom. You get a tub um, with an overhead shower and then a washing machine, a dry machine. Washing machine, dry machine, drying machine? Tumble dryer. An ironing board, um, a sink and then um, a basket and then the sink. And then, ooh, this is like the living area. So this is the kitchen. I really like the kitchen. It's probably my favorite thing of the whole apartment. Um, a table, a desk, TV, coffee table, Tom and the couch. And then outside, I just discovered today we can't actually get out this way, but oh well, there's some steps to go down. So that is it for what this apartment is. I rest you guys here. Um, and we went to the supermarket as well to get some food. Because we're staying in an apartment, so I had to buy all food. Thought I'd show you what we got. We got some sweet corn, some chicken drumsticks, some mints. I will say it's expensive, but it's not as expensive as I thought. So it's quite nice. I don't even think it's expensive. It's more like Aldi. Did you say Aldi? Or like Aldi? A mixture between Aldi and Tesco, like in the middle, probably. Um, we did get quite a few things on offer, that's why. We got two bottles of water. Water, because I don't think the tap water is safe to drink. I'm not sure. Plus, bottle water is the best. We got M&Ms, some butter, and Nutella. Then we got some Bayer's Maddie rice. Some chopped tomatoes, loads of tuna. We got four cans of tuna because it was 80 cents, um, which is very cheap. It's like 40 pence. Is that how much tuna is anyway? No, I think tuna is more than that at home. Uh, we got some pepper, some mayo, and bolognese with chunky tomato, garlic, and herbs sauce. We got a loaf of bread for breakfast in the morning. Um, oh shit, an onion. Some body wash, another can of tuna, some spaghetti, pasta, and then a milk, Oreo, and dairy milk bar. Just those days like we just need sugar, which is every day. Some cookies, some salt, idolized, I don't, I don't know. Some salt, some chicken seasoning because the seasoning wasn't wasn't the best of selections. So we just got some chicken seasoning, and then eggs, and that was all we got. And it was like thirty. No. Shit. Hold on. It was like sixty dollars, which is like thirty-five, thirty pound. So like I said, it was in between like Aldi and Tesco's, really. Um, Tom's feeling a bit tired so we've come back and we're just going to chill out for a bit um, see what happens basically so I'm probably going to be start planning the next few days how to get places where to go um, what to do like multiple days and that because that's what I like about holidays is the planning and I will see you guys in a bit today is a new day it's the 29th is it it's the 29th we're on the way to the aquarium slash sea life center they have a penguin expedition, which is great news for me because I'm obsessed with penguins. If you guys I did not get, no, ugh, did not know, um, and yeah, it's a little bit late. It's about twenty to one. We booked tickets for one o'clock. Uh, today was a slow start because we kept waking up and going back to sleep. Jet lag is fucking hard now. But yeah, we're on our way now.
now oh, 10 past 7 just getting ready to go and meet my brother um, well I'm already ready it's time we're waiting for um, but yeah we're gonna go meet my brother now we had a sick ass day uh, we went to the sea life center where I saw just butt tons of penguins we went on like a penguin ride kind of thing at the end just so cool um and i just got emotional i get so emotional whenever i see penguins and i don't know why they always just make me cry um yeah then we went to get food we went to the same place we went to yesterday called urban walk it's in the harbour mall maybe that's what it's called oh my god i'm so tired and then i got a crepe as well and so did tom actually Tom brought some shorts. Um, that's pretty much it, really, basically, guys. I am ready now. I'm just waiting for Tom. I need to put my sandals on, but pretty much ready anyway. Um, and we're gonna go to the Rocks area to go for lunch. No, for food, dinner. God's sake, I'm so tired, guys. Um, we're going to the Rocks area to get some dinner, and then probably going for drinks beforehand. Um, and yeah, I'm just really tired, like, we had a little nap and it was the most painful thing to wake up from because I was so, so asleep and I'm just, I don't know, oh, I'm just exhausted, absolutely exhausted. And I don't even know why, because I've slept loads as well, but I feel like, because I didn't sleep before, I didn't sleep before we came out here, I didn't sleep properly because I had so many overnights at work. And there's so much shit that I had to do. I feel like I'm still trying to catch up from that. But then I feel like sometimes I'm over tired. As in I've overslept. So frick knows. Um but yeah, I was deliberating whether to put lashes on or not. But I feel like I'm just gonna leave it be. Lashes always make me even more tired to be fair, so probably leave it be. Um I'm not gonna bring my camera with me just because we're probably gonna go to some bars and I don't know if they're gonna be like dodgy with cameras or not. Never really been like obviously never been out in Sydney. Um so I just don't know how they feel about cameras. This isn't gonna be like a super in-depth vlog. It's probably gonna be long because I'm on holiday for two weeks. Um but it's not gonna be in-depth every single day. I'm just gonna show you like bits of it and then probably just chat to you like once or twice a day. Just because I don't wanna be so caught up with vlogging and just missing out on my experience so much. Um, so I'm gonna bring my phone with me and I'll like snapchat shit um, If you guys follow me on snapchat you would have seen it. But yeah, this hair bit here is annoying me um, I will see you guys probably either really later on tonight when I come back I'm probably just gonna tell you guys I had a stink and it was great and now I'm asleep That's probably all I'm gonna say or I will say Nothing and I'll speak to you tomorrow. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm not really sure what's going on I think in the evening John's coming around and we're cooking for him but in the daytime, no idea. So we're just gonna play it by ear, ear, play by how it goes. Say so, yeah, I'm just gonna go get me some stuff. Hey everyone, today is Friday the 30th. It's Tom's dad's birthday. Happy birthday, pops. <laughs> um, and we're just going to the museum today. Um, and yeah, that was really awkward. We're just going to the museum today, um, the Australian Museum. That's pretty much all we have planned.
not talking to him today. <laughs> Why won't you talk to me? Monday the 2nd of January, whoop whoop, happy new year, no, here it is the 2nd, so I didn't vlog yesterday, um, we stayed in all day because I am severely sunburned, my chest, my back and my face, my nose is peeling like nobody's business and my head is swollen, if you guys can see, it's not a cute fucking situation to be in right now, my head's swollen. But, so we decided to stay in because I couldn't leave because of, it would just burn even more and like I'd be in pain. So we took the day inside, Tom did some university work. Um, I just chilled out, watched a film. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it basically. It was quite a slow day. We didn't wake up till quite late anyway. Um, but today is, I'm just trying to play with some brightness. Today is, Monday the second, like I said, um, we are, we've got quite a busy day to die. You've got quite a busy day to die. Die to die. That's quite all right. Um, you've got a busy day today. We're off to the Sydney Tower right now to go up it and have the views of Sydney from the tower. Um, and then we're gonna go around like the little shopping center for a little bit. Um, I wanna go to Sephora because I walked past and I saw that Tarte had the shape tape concealer. So I'm gonna try and get some myself. Then we're going like around by the opera house to meet my brother. We're gonna take some photographs like with the bridge as our background and everything. And then we're off to the bridge for our bridge walk today. I won't be able to take you to the bridge walk with us because we're not allowed to take anything with us. We can't even take like hairpins, jewelry has to come out, everything. Um, so I can't take a camera, which sucks, but because we're going to the tower, we'll still be able to get the same views pretty much um, So I can show you those anyway in the tower There's an option for a skywalk so you can go outside of the tower, but it's it lasts for 45 minutes and I get I don't get bored easily, but like Once I'm done, I'm done and I feel like I don't need to be up there for 45 minutes Especially when I'm doing like a three-hour walk across the bridge because apparently that's how long the bridge takes three hours. Thanks guys. Thanks um so basically, I decided just to do the normal like observatory deck, 
observation deck, whatever it's called. Um, so I can show you guys Sydney that way. And I brought a little tri- oh, I don't know why I'm showing you, there's nothing to show you there. I thought there was a mirror or something. I brought a little tripod from the airport, which I've currently got you guys on. Um, I feel like a proper little vlogger with me little tripod. Um, are we taking this? Oh, I'm taking a picture. Quick selfie. Was I in it? There we go. Oh look, there's me head. There's my head. Right in the back. Is it gonna focus? Stay still. There's my head. Lol. So this is my little tripod situation. So yeah, that's basically it guys. I'm wearing denim on denim. I fucking love denim denim so much that I'm wearing denim on denim. Boom, how have you been? You're asking me. How's 2017 been for you so far? But that's been good. It's been good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it pretty much, guys. I will take you around SIDS with us today and I will catch you later. which can be found right there. This is where we were for New Year's Eve. Well, we were in like that corner there. Um, it's bringing back too many painful memories if we sit over there, so I decided to sit over here. We're just waiting for John and Wayne. Um, and there's the bridge in the background, just chilling, doing its thing. We're about to walk up to it. Not walk up, well, walk up to it, yeah, but we're about to walk it as well. Fucking shitting myself. Like, look how high that is. Are you okay? Over the sea? The sea, not even a river or a lake. The sea. It's fucking sharks. It's a scary time for me. So we went to the Sephora and I was gonna get a couple of things but I kind of butchered myself and I only got two stuff. I picked up one at the Till Point because you guys know I'm a Till Point shopper. But I picked up a hydrating eye mask, deep puffing and moisturizing to hopefully help with like my sunburn and such not. And I love eye masks. And then I picked up an empty palette from Tarte. Tarte is my favourite brand of makeup. It's no secret there, you guys know that. And I wanted this for ages, but to get it off their website, it's like £14, plus shipping, plus taxes. And in Australia, it was like £14.50 or something, so just made sense to ship it myself to me. But it looks like this. It's leopard. It's kind of similar to my Z palette, um, my leopard Z palette. And then it's got a massive mirror with me, hey, and the sun. I'm not gonna blind you guys. And then an empty palette, basically. I was gonna buy one of their new palettes, but 
I decided against it. I thought I would just buy it online at a later date. We're currently just waiting for John and Wayne now. Hey everyone, so it is the 4th of, oh thanks Tom, it's the 4th of um, January, wow, 2017, happy new year. So I didn't vlog yesterday because yesterday I had a massive, massive allergic reaction. Um, if you guys remember on the 2nd, I said to you like here was swollen, basically it went all under my eyes, it's still quite swollen now and my eyelids and here i'll insert some pictures in a sec um of like how bad it got it got so bad like it was scary um i ended up having to go to a doctor's no you guys pay so much for doctors here freaking hell like me and time i've been talking just generally every time i go on a holiday we always say oh would you live here as long as the doctors i would not live here because y'all pay too damn much i will move to canada or new zealand new zealand's got free nhs don't they I'd move to Canada because they've got free NHS. Um, I, yeah, so I went to the doctors and I got some steroid cream. Oh my god, it's the first ever episode of Friends. Um, yeah, I got some steroid cream and some loads of tablets that I need to start taking, which I started taking already. Um, and it's gone down a lot. So that was pretty much what we did yesterday. We also just strolled around. We went to go to a place called Sushi and Grill or Sushi Grill um, where we had some food. We were planning to go to the Hunger Games expedition. But on the way, like on the walk there, we saw these like street dancers like setting up and like they're really, really engaging. So we were like, oh, I'll just have like a little, little watch kind of thing. And it was really, really good. And then I went to the doctors and I got my prescription. No, then we moved hotels and so I went in our new hotel. Looked around the area and then just chilled out basically. I just needed to calm my skin down a lot because it was really, really bad. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you would have seen it. So many of you 
was so sweet and sent me like messages saying you hope I get, like, hope I get better. Oh, you guys are just amazing. So thank you so much for that. Um, I am getting better slowly but surely. The doctor said 24 to 48 hours. So it's now probably been 24 hours. Actually, probably a bit less. No, actually, probably 24 hours now. Um, and it looks a lot better. My face is pretty much back to normal. It's just a bit of swelling. Still on my eyelid here um, and under my eye. Um, but it was so much worse. I've also been sunburned on my head and my nose. And here is where my sunglasses have been, which is why it's pale. Um, I've lost five nails. Another one's on its way out. Two others are on its way out. Um, my toenails are just a mess. So I can't wait to get back to England to just get my nails done and like do me fake tan all this kind of stuff. Cause I can't fake tan at the moment, especially with like, can't wear makeup or anything, which I'm kind of happy about. Um, just rambling for like four minutes right now. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's all we've done like yesterday. And then today you guys would have seen all the footage. We went to Topanga, no, Taronga Zoo. Topanga is what I'm going to name my daughter. We went to, to, to Churanga Zoo. Um, we got there a little bit late. But it was no biggie because we still um, saw everything that we wanted to see. We went on the ferry to get there because it's over the sea. But you can walk along the bridge and get there. But it's just so far. Um, I and Tom both agree that that's the best zoo we've ever been to. It was amazing. We went to do, we watched this bird show, which I didn't record because they said that the birds fly really low, which they do. So I didn't want my camera getting taken away from me. Um, the bird show was amazing. If you go, go to the bird show. I swear to God, it's the best 15 minutes I've ever had. Like, it was so cool and just so, like, cool, basically. Um, Tom was saying that, like, it's one of the zoos that looks... Like legit in a way, it looks like the, the animals would stay there and they would live there. So it was really nice. Um, I didn't get to see my penguins because they were like too far out. And I was like, I can't be bothered because we were kind of on a t time sh shale, shale scale. And that's it basically. So that's what we've done today and yesterday. I'll give you a room tour of this room now. Um, the new hotel we're staying in. It's very small. It didn't look like this in the photographs. It's not a big deal that it's small. It's just a bit like frustrating coming from like an apartment to this but we're only here for a couple of days and it was quite cheap and it's still nice don't get me wrong the area is the best part of it we're like bang in the middle of chinatown um we've been eating so much asian food like so much and i love it asian food is probably my favorite cuisine like there is um we're really excited to go to hong kong on saturday as well so that we can go have some more asian food we're gonna, i just want to have like street food in, in hong kong i don't want to go to like any restaurants i just want street food because when i went to thailand we did street food and it was bomb um, so yeah, we're eating really good at the moment. We just had a KFC though, because we've had so much Asian and we know we're gonna have Asian tomorrow and Friday and Saturday. So we just need this hot sec, hot sec break. But, ooh, hello, hello. But I'll show you the room now. I can do it all from the bed, so it's fine. So there's the door. Be careful because there's a step and then there's a bed straight away. So I, I fell down the step on the way in and then I nearly fell into the bed because it's very, very tight, but it's fine. There's a floor length mirror here with my leg just chilling. Hey, and then my rubbish. You've got a chair over there, which we've just dumped our stuff on because we've literally got no space to put it. That's a shower and then the toilet's in there. The TV's up there. We've got friends on at the moment. There's a little mini fridge in there um, and just random shit again on top of there because we've got so much stuff. Um, that we've just had to do that. This is the bed. It's just a normal double size. Do you want to be in the vlog or? Not with her. No. No? And then on the wall is like these cool artwork and then it's all like brick wall as well. I really like the colour scheme of white and grey I think and like the exposed brickwork. I think it's beautiful. But yeah, that's it for today probably. I'll probably catch up with you guys in a bit. Um, I'll insert all the clips from yesterday and show you how bad my allergic reaction went. My allergic reaction was to um, an ingredient in after sun. I'm allergic to citric acid, which I think most of you guys know because I think I've mentioned it before. Um, but I usually only have citric acid in my mouth. So my mouth swells up. I've never ever had it on my skin in my life. Um, because I stay away from it like you guys know that I've always said on my, my channel like my skin is so sensitive I can't have anything that's fragrancy and this is the reason why tea tree oil does the same to my face as well um, but there was an ingredient in after sun I've never used after sun in my life um, but Tom got really panicky on New Year's Day when he saw how red my face was and he was like use after sun so I said okay um, and basically it just fucked my face the fuck up so <laughs> I haven't been using that um but yeah i'll insert everything now i'll catch up with you guys tonight and then i'll see you tomorrow again so enjoy the rest of the vlog
today is Saturday the 7th of January. Uh, we're in Hong Kong at the moment. I don't know if I vlogged yesterday, like the trip, the journey. I don't think I did because we weren't by an ILC. And I feel like when you vlog on an airplane, you're not by an ILC, you don't have anything to vlog. But anyway, we're in Hong Kong now. We have been asleep. Well, we got here for about like half five maybe. Um, and it's about quarter to 12 now. We check out at 12, what well, we're gonna check out now. Um, and we're gonna go and get some food, we're gonna go to Times Square, we're gonna go to Victoria Peak, and we're gonna go to Soho, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna go home. We've got a four, like nearly a 14 hour flight on the way back, and then an hour and a half flight from Paris to Birmingham, and I just wanna get home. Like, even though I'm in Hong Kong and everything, and I'm really excited, I do wanna get home, because I'm one of those people that if I'm like on a journey, I just wanna get there. I don't enjoy the journey, I, I enjoy the destinations. Um, but I'm excited to be here, because I'm really hungry, and I really wanna eat some good food, basically. But I thought I'd show you the view from the hotel. So we're staying in the Cosmo Hotel, um, and this is the view from the hotel, basically. It's absolutely bomb as hell. Like, it's just worth it for this. So I'll give you a little room tour as well. Here's the front door. When you walk in, there's a massive mirror. And then here's the bathroom. It's got a sliding door, a bath, and a shower. The toilet and a sink. And then this kind of like sees out into the living room, which is really weird. I'm not really a fan of that. Um, you got all like your amenities or whatever it's called there. The bed, the bed was not comfy, in my opinion. I'm just saying. Um, a desk, little telly, and then like what it's all worth it, which is the view, which is amazing. And I'm obsessed. 